kila siku visa vya saratani huripotiwa na sio tu aina moja ya saratani bali aina mbalimbali za saratani zinazo wakandamiza wagonjwa ile ya kwanza ilikuwa cervical alafu yenye irudi kakuja pelvic sababu ilijulikana anga 2015 alafu ikakuja ikapona alafu tena ikarudi sasa ndio ni kwa stage 4 ya kansa wengi wa wagonjwa hukosa kujua wanachougua huku wengine wakipata vipimo visivyo sahihi nilipata lamp dogo kwa breast on my left breast nikaenda nikafanywa ultrasound wakasema si kitu kubwa ni gojea 6 months after 6 months nikarudi pale nikaenda nikafanywa biopsy biopsy ikasema hakuna kitu imeonekana so i had to relax na nikaka afterwards nikaona ile kitu imeanza kugile lamp imeanza imeanza kuwa kubwa so nilibadilisha hospitali na wakati nilibadilisha hospitali ndio ilienda ikapatikana niko na kansa na imefika stage 3B kunao wanaoishi na saratani na kukumbwa na unyanyapaa kutoka kwa jamii mimi nilikuwa naishi kwa nyumba moja hapa Kariobangi na nikafukuzwa kwa sababu ya kunuka juu ya juu ya harufu mbaya na kwa sasa niko na side effect nyingi hata zingine ni aibu kuzisema kwa kamera na zile ambazo singependa watu wengine wapitie japo hakuna sababu zinazofahamika za saratani wataalamu wanasema kuwa Watu wa umri kati ya miaka 20 hadi 60 wapo hatarini kupata saratani. Our lifestyle smoking, taking alcohol, physical inactivity, genetic predisposition and many more other factors can cause cancer. Matukio haya yamewapelekea wagonjwa wa saratani waliopona na wataalamu kuungana ili kutoa hamasa kuhusu muhimu wa uchunguzi wa mapema. Like a place here Kariobangi Health Center. I'm sure we don't have a chemo center. I'm sure we can't get chemotherapy here, we can't get radiotherapy even doing the CT scans, doing the X-ray. As the way government fights for TB treatment, for HIV treatment, these cancer warriors or the ones suffer, these cancer victims are also appealing to the government if the cost of treatment for cancer can be reduced. In what way? I wouldn't know. Hivi karibuni Wizara ya Afya ilizindua mpango wa kitaifa wa kudhibiti saratani wa mwaka 2023 hadi 2027 ili kuongoza nchi kuhusu namna za kudhibiti makali ya saratani haswa ikizingatiwa kuwa matibabu ya saratani ni gali. Financing the treatment through NHIF is done very well. We want to encourage the government, we want to encourage NHIF to ensure that uh, cancer packages are properly done and cancer uh, treatment is properly paid for kwa waliopona na hata wale ambao bado wanaendelea na matibabu wana matumaini kuwa saratani sio mwisho wa maisha kwa stage 4 na ninatembea na Mungu wako so si kusema ati jume ambuko na kansa ndio mwisho wako unaona sasa hiyo tu jina kansa mimi naichukulianga tu ni kama jina venye tu naitwa karo So mtu akisikia uko na kansa usirudi chini ama uanze kujidhoofisha tisijui nini nitakufa ah Mungu wako na kansa inapona ya na ndio niko hapa kama kama testimony Robi Omondi K24